Hello. So through the previous sessions, we have uh, studied about uh, the development of prisms, pyramids as well as cones with the sections or through holes, right? So now we are moving to another set of questions in the development where the development will be given and from that development we have to obtain the initial shape or initial section of the corresponding solid, right? The development will be given and from that development we have to obtain the simple position or the initial position or the position corresponding position of the solid. Okay, so we can move to the next question. The question is, a jar is in the form of a right circular cone having a diameter of 60 mm and the height is 70 mm. An and start, starts moving from the extreme right corner base or uh, extreme right base of the cone and after traveling around the cone, it returns to its original point or its initial position. Find geometrically the shortest distance that the ant can touch. So, here the question is a cone of 60 mm diameter and 90 mm height is given and its development is given. What is its development? Development means an ant starts from a particular point on the base of the cone and it returns to the same point. Find the shortest distance that the ant can take place. Listen, so in the simple position, we can see the 60 mm diameter circle So, the two views of the cone has been completed, right? Now, we have to obtain the corresponding development. How we can obtain the development? First, it is a sector of uh, uh, included angle theta is equal to 360 into radius r divided by L, okay? So, on calculating that, you will get theta is equal to 113.7 degree. So, we can construct the development. So, also the development has been completed, right? So, it is given that an and starts from a point on the base and after traveling around the cone, it returns to its original position, which means an and starts from the point A and traveling around the cone, it returns to the original point A. So, what is the shortest distance? So, you all know that if we have two position points, what is the shortest distance connecting these two points? It is a straight line, right? So, this means the shortest distance between the point A and the point A. That means after completing on rotation, so it will be a straight line only, right? So, the shortest distance between the two points will be a straight line, which means we can construct the straight line in the given development in the development that we have drawn. So, this will be the straight line which connect which, this will be the shortest path of the ant which is traveling from point A to the point A. So, while traveling this point it meets the generator at the marked points right. You can mark this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6 and 7. What does these points mean? See, suppose we have the position here. How can we construct this development? Suppose if this was a point, transfer this point to the true length line, take this distance and that distance will be marked on the generator through C as well as through the generator as well as on the generator through G, right? In that manner, we are locating these points on the generator. I repeat, suppose if we have a point here, how can we mark this point on the development? Transfer this point to the true length line, then take this distance. This point is on the generator through C and G. So, using or take the distance and mark it on C as well as on G. This is the method of obtaining the development, right? Now, we have the development with us and from this value, we have to obtain the position on the front view, right? How can we obtain? So, how can we obtain? Listen, see, this is a point A, that is a starting position of the ant. So, this will be the starting position. Now, this is 1. How this 1 is obtained? It is a point on the generator B. So, take this much distance, distance of this much distance. Take this much distance, mark it on the true length line and from that true length line, transfer that point to the corresponding generator. Since this is a point on B, that point should be transferred to B. Okay. So, we have obtained the point 1, 1 dash. Now, what about the point 2? This is a point 2 which is on the generator 3, C. So, take this distance, mark it on the true length line and transfer that point to the generator through C. So, this will be our 2 dash. Similarly, what about 3? Take this distance, mark it on the true length line and transfer it to the generator through D. So, this will be 3 dash. Similarly, take 4, mark here, transfer to the true length line through E, that is 4 dash. This 5, 6 and 7 will be obtained in this point only. Okay, because uh, the, this distance uh, and this distance is same. The distance from this point to 2 and the distance from this point to 6 is same. 3 and 5 is same. So, 3 and 5 should uh, will be on the same point. 2 and 6 will be on the same point. 1 and 7 will be on the same point. So, we can connect like this. So, this is the path of the AND in the front view. Now, how can we obtain it in the top view? See, this is our one project here. All the points except two and six has been obtained. How can we obtain the point two and six? We have done it earlier. Transfer the point on the generator. Transfer here. Then we can rotate like this. In here also. Okay. So. A curve like this can be obtained. Now, complete the dimensions, diameter 6. Angle also can be marked. So, I think all of you have understood.